Today's word is privatization. Privatization. Of course, that's the opposite of nationalization. Nationalization is when a government takes over a business or a resource in order to run it and collect the profits from the running of said business and or resource. Privatization is, of course, on the other side of the spectrum. That is when a government sells, sells off, redistributes, or even leases out control of a business or a natural resource within its borders to a private entity. All right, dig what I'm saying? Now this had been all the rage for the last hundred years. This has really been the kind of free market capitalism wild west for the last hundred years where increasingly governments who controlled stuff have kind of let it all go to the open market, let it go to the free market, let businesses take care of it. And why would they do that? Well, because the theory is, and it's pretty sound theory, businesses are better at running individual things, all right? They're doing it for profit, therefore, if they don't do it well, they go broke and suck, okay? When a government controls something, the government's a big bureaucracy, they're not necessarily specialists, they don't necessarily do things that well or that quickly, they can't respond to market forces as fast because it's a government, it's huge, bureaucracy, it's bloated. So, give it to a private business that's honed, that's skilled, like a shark. It's a killing machine. It just does this one thing and let them do it very, very well. And instead of the government controlling, say, the oil or, or the gas or the corn, we'll let private businesses do it. And the money, see, we used to make so much money with the oil running it ourselves. But what the privatization theory is, let them do it. They'll do it better. They'll get it out of the ground. They can process it quicker, faster, cheaper. Therefore, it's cheaper to the consumer. More people buy it. We tax it all. We tax the business making it. We tax the consumers buying it. Therefore, in the long run, again, this is theory, economic theory, is that you will make more money with it in the private sector as opposed to the government trying to run it. You'll make more money off taxes than actually just making profit off of it. Does that make sense? So that's our term for the day, privatization. The other thing to consider is that this has been a growing trend and particularly in countries that have already tried to run everything themselves, namely Soviet Union, maybe you've heard of that, communist system where the government owns and controls everything, or China, communist system they attempted where the government ran and controlled everything. In both of those circumstances, as the USSR collapsed in 1991, they started privatizing everything. The Russian government, the Russian government, not the Soviet government that's left over, they start privatizing everything, letting it go. And the reason communism failed is because the government couldn't control everything efficiently. So sell it off to private businesses, and there's been a flurry of that going on in Russia to this day. China is now in the, exactly the same boat. All throughout the 50s and 60s and 70s, during their communist uh, experiment, they owned and con the state owned and controlled everything, and they largely didn't do it very well. So now China selling it off, parsing it out, letting private business take care of things. Does that make sense so far? Some countries even take it to another extreme. They're rich already. Like in Japan, they privatized the postal service. The government just said, well, I mean, most governments around the world have a postal service that they run. But Japan said, ah, we'll experiment. Let it go private. See if they do it better. Maybe they'll do it better, faster, cheaper. If they don't, then the governments can always, of course, kick it in reverse and renationalize it. The other last one I'll mention is India, a country, big country, lots of people, big government. And they, for decades, have tried a socialist route where the government controlled everything, like the transport systems and telecommunications and most natural resources. And they, even though they were never fully communist, they are fully on board for the privatization scheme as well. And the government has sold off transportation, telecommunications, and a host of other industries. So that's your word for the day. It still happens. Uh, and actually, it still happens more than nationalization, even though that's in the news more right this semester.